Protests escalated in Washington, D.C. over the weekend, with some people setting fires and vandalizing monuments in response to the death of George Floyd. Floyd, a black man, died after a white police officer knelt on his neck for eight minutes. Floyd told the officer he couldn't breathe. Floyd's death was caught on video and has since sparked protests against police brutality across the U.S. Protests in Washington, D.C., mounted on Sunday evening as some protesters set fires across the city. Next to the White House, fireworks were set off, and tear gas was fired at protesters. According to the D.C. Police Department, the historic St. John's Church was intentionally set ablaze, though firefighters were able to quickly extinguish the flames. According to the Washington Post, protesters used baseball bats to bash storefront windows and office buildings. Several liquor stores and supermarkets were looted. Police charge forward during a protest outside the White House over the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police in Washington, D.C., on May 31, 2020. Samuel Coram, AFP via Getty images the White House went almost completely dark on Sunday night, shutting off its external lights as several fires burned nearby. Earlier on Sunday, video showed several protesters breaching the perimeter around Lafayette Park, just outside of the White House. Several landmarks at the National Mall were graffitied following demonstrations, according to the Parks Service. For generations, the mall has been our nation's premier civic gathering space for nonviolent demonstrations, and we ask individuals to carry on that tradition, the service said in a tweet. The National Guard was called in to help with the protest response on Sunday evening. Mayor Muriel Bowser ordered a citywide curfew from 11 p.m. on Sunday to 6 a. Monday. Bowser said in a tweet on Sunday that she understands that protesters are tired, sad, and desperate for change, and lobbed blame at the White House for inciting violence. We need leaders who recognize pain and in times of despair can provide us a sense of calm and hope, she said. Instead, what we've got in the last two days from the White House is the glorification of violence against American citizens.